right, so here is how to commit a file to version control. So what we want to do is commit this thing called, that we want to commit the folder called for Jonathan. Um, so we're highlighting it. I'll click right on it. And then, so we got this thing, and then we see um, these different tortoise options, tortoise SVN. So click on tortoise SVN. So what we want to do is actually, no, 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 not check out. It, it, it X that out, yeah. So click right on it again, yeah, and then click tortoise SVN. So what we're doing is we're going to add that folder. So say click on add. Okay, and see all those files inside the folder. It's going to add them to the repository. So we hit OK, and then see it's adding them as we speak, and then hit OK, and then um, click right on, on the folder again. OK, now, if you notice that we click right, we have a new set of, we have this new thing called commit right there. So we're going to want, we've added it, but we haven't really committed it yet. Um, Version control likes to have two steps to the process. So click click on commit. Okay, and there you go. Um, so it's right down here. It's You have the option to not commit certain files by unchecking those. But in our case, we know we want to include everything, so it's pretty simple. But just demonstrate on clicking on just, yeah, like I click on the, yeah, so oops, so that unclicked them all. But now what you can do, right, so we, now you're doing one by one, but you can click them all by going up there and clicking on, yeah, all. And see, now we've got them all. Okay, so then say, um, just in the comment, just say, um, first commit. It's not a very big comment, but, and then, um, and then hit OK. So the, the comment is basically in a log for later, because basically all these transactions are going to be saved to a database, and sometimes you might want to roll back to a certain commit. And so having a comment there can help you find it. So type in the user, in our case, you know, when you'd be using this, it would be your username, which is JS King, but we don't have the ability for you to, you don't have permission to write to this repository yet. So we're going to use my username, my password, so type in my username, which is WLJ, and then I'm going to type in my password and then press OK. Um, so hold on, everyone. I'm going to just hit the stop button.